Hey guys, it's Martin Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a little tip here on how to customize or remap the Bixby button so it can open another application or do another actions beside opening Bixby. If you're like me that don't like it, you, this video might be for you. Uh, right now, as it is today, Samsung does not let us customize or remap this button for any other application or action. So we're going to have to go to the store, to the P Play Store, right, and download these applications you do not need to root your phone that's great uh, there's a couple applications like bx uh, remapper bixby remapper uh, it's a cool application that let's go and turn it on right uh, what's cool about this one is that you can actually choose any other application in the in that you have installed on your phone and use it with the bixby button like for example if i press the gamefly application right close it and i open click on that it's going to open the gamefly application just like that but like you saw there there was a little splash like you see there there's a little splash of bixby then the application opens up um that's the only negative thing about this application the B bixby remapper but keep in mind it might get updated later on in the future here i, I chose amazon so look at that that's pretty cool that you can open another applications besides, you know, using the Bixby button. That's cool. And another negative thing is that you cannot, if you press the Bixby button again while the application is open, it won't close it, which kind of sucks because when you're using Bixby, it actually does. It closes, it opens and closes Bixby. And that's, but right now, as it is, this doesn't do it. Another thing you can actually do here is, for example, these are all the other actions you can do. Like if you want to open Google now, click right there, then click right there and it opens Google now. But like I said, again, you're going to see this splash right there, which might be annoying for some people. But like I said, what's cool about this application is that it actually lets you open other applications besides the other app that I'm going to show you guys. So let's go ahead and disable this one, disable that one. So we can go ahead and enable the other one, BX Action, which is my favorite. Let's go ahead and start the application. Right now, it's start right there. If you click again, it says uh, you stop it, and it says start the app. Click it again. It's enabled, and it says stop the app. So you got Remap, Donate, Help, and Floaty Lock Screen. Remap right here. Um, here it has a couple options. It says Phone Unlocked and Phone Locked. Phone unlocked is the action that's going to do when the phone is open, unlocked. So right here I have Google Now, right? I have Google Now. If I click on it and I open it up, boom, it's going to open Google Now and there is no splash screen. And if I press the Bixby button again, it's going to close it. Open, close. That's freaking awesome. Now that actually works a lot better uh, a little bit more similar to the default action of Bixby. That's really damn good. And of course, you can also use it for any other application. Like for example, the flashlight. If you use the flashlight, click on it. And it opens the flashlight. Click again, and it turns off the flashlight. Awesome. So that's cool, right? Uh, now, but let's go in back again. Let's go back again here. Boom. Right now, I'm going to leave it in Google Now because it's my favorite assistant. Google now, click back, and here it says phone locked. Um, by default, this is going to be off. So if you want to use Bixby button when the screen is off or the phone is uh, is locked, click right there. Here you're going to choose another action just like same as before. You could use it for Google now again, or you could use it for the flashlight. And here, click there. These two options, I have it enabled. It says if you see Bixby sometimes, use this blocking mode right there. Uh, toggle apps, open and closes apps or system actions with the Bixby button. There you go. So I have that enabled there. So now if I close the screen, right? If I close the screen and I tap the Bixby button, there you go. Look at that. And I tap it again and it turns off while the phone is locked. There you go. But the only negative thing, it does have some bugs. It's not perfect. So um, here when it's locked, sometimes you're actually going to see the Bixby splash screen, but it's it still does the action. Like right here, it, you didn't see it. Right there, you saw it by a split second. Right there, you saw it again. And there you see it again. 
So like you see there, you do see it sometimes, uh, but it actually works pretty damn good when the phone is unlocked. Tap right there, boom, and it opens up really, really fast. That's pretty damn awesome. So guys, that's it for this video. I just want to share this video with you guys. I'm gonna leave the links in my description. Keep in mind, these applications are totally free, but if you wanna donate to help them out, just click the donate button right there and help them out a dollar or two, you know, helps them out. And uh, like I said before, you know, this is my favorite one, BX Action, because uh, for me, it works a lot more flawlessly and it does work, uh, use the Bixby button just the way it should, you know, by closing and opening applications. Um, here, of course, if you need it, for example, let's say another cool option here, notification center or sys setting tray, click right there. If you click the, the button right there, it opens up the whole tray. That's pretty damn cool too, look at that. It opens up the whole tray too, and you tap it again, and I think it should close it. Tap open it, and it didn't close it, but like you see there, it works pretty cool. So, but of course, like I said, my, my favorite options for this is Google Now, and also, if you want to just disable it, just click right there, and it'll just disable the button. It'll just not do anything. But of course, Google Now is my favorite option. Open it again, and look at that. Pretty damn awesome. So guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this video with you guys on how to remap or customize the Bixby button on the S8 or S8 Plus totally free and without rooting your smartphone. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Till next time.